want to be very specific. When I mean this game, it's really weird and nobody talks about it. I mean the PSP version, which is completely different from every other version. <laughs> So the game starts off like every other Sims game. You create your character, which is um, pretty standard, I guess. Looks a little bit older, based on newer games, but still, I think it stands. It holds its time. It started first by making a standard-looking character, but I sort of switched that around, and uh, this is what I came up with. <laughs> kind of look like Shane Gillis. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. So, after we created our Shane Gillis looking character, we hop right into the game. Our game starts by driving, and somehow we lose control, and that breaks our car. I don't know why. We go into his mechanic shop and we actually try to talk to him and offer him money. But uh, of course, since this game is so weird, um, he wants some respect. He ends up taking money from us to fix our car anyways. So that is that. <laughs> After talking to the mechanic, I moved on and was trying to go outside, but something caught my eye as I was walking outside. Things got out of hand real quick. As soon as I got outside, I saw some trash in the floor and I was prompted into picking it up. I did pick it up and um, proceeded to throw them away. This did not make sense to me at this time, but um, as the story goes along, it'll make a lot more sense. I later then proceeded to talk to this sheriff, Susu. and um, I didn't get much from him. Oh. <laughs> but then I proceeded to my actual mission, which was to go inside and talk to the lady that runs the store. I saw this lady here outside and um, decided to talk to her. Delu. Susu. We became yeah, friends pretty quickly and um, she told me this super interesting secret. <laughs> yeah, I told you this game gets pretty weird. Mambo said afterwards that uh, I should go and try to flirt with someone. So I did. After I made my sleep moves, this lady gave me her number, and uh, we are dating now officially. Like every other Sims game, I then later proceeded to use in the bathroom. Um, nothing to see here. And well, to my surprise, as soon as I got out of the store, this is what was left of the garage where my car was being currently fixed. Uh, apparently this doctor knows what um, happened here, even though my character just doesn't ask too many questions, and um, he just made an entire building disappear, and that's apparently normal here, but we'll go back to that in a second. 
I then went and uh, spoke to a sheriff once again, um, but this time with more serious matter. So he asked if I needed help with anything, and I said that the garage was superior. And I kid you not, he replied with, um, Yes, I'm at the my la or instant ban, tricala, yamazo, chomo, shimba, dobosh, da dai. Then he followed that up by saying weird things happen here all the time, which is great to hear. Mendo si la mo. To then saying, if you need it, I'm sure it'll come back eventually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So then I proceeded to asking him if um, he would be willing to give me a ride to town. But he said he had a bit of a problem. He needed some drugs. The lady from the store was hiding them. She confessed that she hides the donuts in the trash can inside of the bathroom. Yeah. I went and to the bathroom and picked up the donuts. And calmly turned back and gave it to the sheriff. Later he proceeded to say that if he wanted to give me a ride to town, I needed a place to stay. So, I went back to the store and got back to business. I talked to the lady that runs the store. She had nothing for me. But the girl that's running away from the aliens says that she was skipping town and selling her house. Her original price was 900000 but um, I quickly negotiated that down to uh just any change that I had in my pockets, which at that time was $150. And she took the $150 and gave me her house, which a bargain, especially in today's economy. I told the sheriff, we went in the car, he gave me a ride to the town. Once I got to the town, um, well, thanks God, pretty weird. First, I meet my, um, Maid, which she looks. Oh my God! Oh, um, Not the type of maid that works in the house. Let's just say that. <laughs> After talking to her a little bit, uh, she said that uh, the house currently stores some secrets, which is interesting. She said, "Find find out for yourself what uh, this house offers." I went inside. And to my surprise, there are two ghosts inside of the house. I went back and talked to her, and um, I said that the house is haunted. She then told me a couple stories. Yeah, that's what this game gets. After knowing all this backstory with this ghost, I proceeded to uh, put some hip hop music and dance in front of the ghost. I had a blast. After my dance moves, apparently he, um, did not enjoy them and um, proceeded to scare me, which I did not like whatsoever. After that, I made my way to the bathroom, washed my hands. And proceeded on my journey.
and if you look at my objectives i um yeah that's how weird this game gets retrieve the remains of dennis phillips that's our first goal to my surprise, there Traumatic. is more things Hope looking around in this town. The sheriff said that there is all kinds of trouble. Graveyard and garbage man. I obviously wanted to hear about the graveyard first, which is a whole story about how this town was built on the graveyard. Trainina, Malas, Brigansh, Bolo, Bolosh, Balapari. The garbage guy um, is missing. That's all he said. Quilampo, Bazama, you got Tramazi, Povisa, Hopadli, Yamasa, Gaza, Lo, Yamasa, Dandari. Trainina, Malas, Brigansh, Bolo, Bolosh, Balapari. Usima, Chikala, Jumwaza. Pray team, come she, you got Zinga, Shabali. Teno, Yaba, Chiba. And really, those in Madagazi, Halachi, Papo, Lo. And, uh, well, I went and proceeded to the garbage truck to inspect it. What my character thought is maybe he went into the beaker's house. So I went into the beaker's house. Apparently, uh, the beakers are pretty chill because as soon as I walked in, uh, they didn't seem to care that I was in there, which having a random person inside of your house, apparently not a big deal for them. So I looked around and uh, well, there she was, reading books. I tried to hack this pad and uh, they didn't seem to care. Apparently, well, they just, she was just reading there. I went to the bathroom like every other person and uh, well, I saw this guy taking a shower. So, so far we got in very, very intimate with each other. So, yeah. <laughs> I waited till he got out of the bathroom, you know, being very polite, and I made some conversation just because, you know, if somebody, if you're naked in the bathroom and somebody just walks into your house, um, at least say hi. To my surprise, he said, uh, I'm sorry, were you in the impression that I wanted to talk to you? So they seemed to be pretty chill. After we had back and forth, I then proceeded to talk to his wife. But instead of talking, I uh, I tried flirting with his wife, and uh, well, she was, seemed like he was into it, but then said this. Then I got this message from the game saying that I lack social skills. Rude. So I went to the menu and did some magic and try it again. After my magic, let's just say that uh, Mrs. Beaker was really excited to talk to me at this point. Things got really intimate. <laughs> After sleeping with me in front of her husband, she told me the secrets. Uh, that nothing excites him more than volunteering for a crazy experiment. Good to know. Thanks. Not getting the right information that I wanted out of her, I Su -su. went ahead and uh, talked to her husband and flirted with him as well. Talk about a waste of time. I then later proceeded to uh, hacking this door again. But at this point, they were really mad that I touched that. And I didn't understand why. I mean, I just had sex with both of them, so. Really, son? 
deflecting him, but she da wash can off your harder, machine up and she matter. I tried to get him to leave the house Please so I could go into the store it and um, it didn't work. But they wanted something from each other. They wanted to know what each one of them was hiding. So, my mission was to find out what he was hiding. As I was looking at a painting in the game, I had, um, well, Mr. B could just go into his closet and just look really suspicious. At that point, I knew I had to get in there. My instincts were correct. After inspecting the closet, I found out what we were looking for. The secret he was hiding. Anyways, I went ahead and talked to Mrs. Beaker. And she sort of used me. She said originally that she would leave the house if I gave her what she wanted. And then she did not. So I intimidated her. <laughs> By intimidating her, I found out she was sneaking off with the doctor down there, which is the same guy that called me on the telephone once my garage, my car, and the garage disappeared. Anyways, I proceeded to, um, even though she told me literally all of this in front of this guy, um, he apparently couldn't hear that, so I went ahead and told him, and uh, they went to him and argue. Awesome. Once they were arguing, I found the perfect opportunity to go into the door and hack it. To my surprise, there was a computer inside of the door. Sat down, looked into the computer, and uh, got bored immediately, so I got up. <laughs> After that, I heard somebody moaning on the other room. I went ahead and uh, talked to him, and very chillingly, um, he just said, Thanks for rescuing me. It was good of you. He then later proceeded to give me some money, which made me question how the hell did this guy have money in here? I don't know. Anyways, I followed him, and he just calmly walked outside. Literally. With them arguing in the room and uh he just walked outside <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay i then later proceeded to investigate further into the room um nothing much of interest to be honest i walked outside looked around and call it a day with my swag <laughs> all right if you guys want me to keep uh, investigating murders in this weird game that nobody talks about please subscribe leave a like and comment on this video <laughs> we will solve all the mysteries hiding under this weird 2005 or 6 I don't quite remember the day this game came out um, and yeah thank you guys for watching I will catch you on my next video